Hello everyone, this is a to back again with some more. Why am I wearing these? Uh, some more what's on deck. Actually, what's on Kickstarter? I don't know if we'll be doing two videos. Let's get on with Kickstarter first and we'll see what we get. There's a lot going on. I am back to my regular microphone because I used a different one last week and apparently it didn't work out so well. Uh, anyways, let's see what's on Kickstarter. We have. The Watermelon Point Cards from Flamenco Point Cards, it is funded Quattro days to go, or four, four days to go. Uh, it's an okay deck. Bicycle Open Season from Quattro Point Cards is 56% funded, three days to go. I don't think it's going to fund at this rate. However, they have a new one that has funded, or well, will fund shortly. It is the Bicycle Stained Glass Phoenix Point Cards. Um... 96% funded, 28 days to go. They've had a previous stained class deck that was decent. This one looks like another variation of that deck. Uh, as some pointed out, what exactly does Phoenix have to do with stained glass? I don't know. It's just a pattern. It's interesting looking design. As you can see. And it fits the, the color scheme as well of Phoenix. I would say. And they got a nice stained glass look on the faces with kind of standard court cards. There are standard court cards that we call it. Custom pips. Uh, you can check out a review on the previous stained glass deck if you want on my channel. But it's more or less, it's more or less the same. It's a different back design, obviously. It's not bad. It's one that I will get later on. Boys worth checking out if you're interested. Next, we got the Leonardo 2018 deck from Art Playing Cards. Uh, make sure you go check it out. It is funded, six hours to go. Especially if you missed out last time, make sure you get it this time before you miss out again. Bicycle Hybrid from Elite Point Cards is well funded, three days to go. I don't know why, but it is. It doesn't appeal to me at all. I guess there's a lot of people. Who will just back elite playing cards just because it's elite playing cards? I don't know. Essential Fabrica and not anatomy. I can't pronounce that word for life. I can pronounce anatomy uh, anatomical. There you go. Playing cards by Bullets Card is 80% funded. 17 days to go. I'm pretty sure we've looked at that one. We have a new one here though <sighs> Colored Stripes by Mikkel Samuelson. How creative. <laughs> it is 5% funded, 28 days to go. Is it going to fund? Mm, I don't know. I, I, it's hard to say. Oh, God. Why did I go to his... Go to his projects, not his page. You can see the back design. It's very one way. It says four colors. Diagonal. Stripes. I mean, how long did it take to create this? <laughs> it couldn't have taken that long. It does make a four-way fanning deck, which is always cool. The Ace of Spades has the same design to it. Spades and Clubs have a blue color. The Jokers have nothing going on. It says Joker. Is that... I mean, it's a very uncreative deck. It's just colored stripes on the backs and on the Ace. Nothing on the Jokers. And then everything else is completely standard. Pink for the Hearts and Diamonds. Blue for the Spades and Clubs. You gotta be more creative, buddy, if you want your deck to fund. This is just uncreative. It seems like you just came up with this idea and recolored the faces and put you know, some colored stripes on the bad design. It's not that exciting. Did we put the by USB-C for what it's worth? But I'm not sure it's gonna fund. Next, Bicycle Casa from Barry is funded 63 hours to go. Tennis Point Cards by Grant Yun, 16% funded, 8 days to go, I don't see it happening. Highlighter Point Cards, which I mentioned last week, I believe, by Steven Singleton, 7% funded, 19 days to go, it's not going to happen. Devastation, Silver Edition Point Cards by Jody Eklund is well funded, 30 days to go. Uh, another edition, hopefully the last one of the Devastation, it seems to be getting a little bit out of hand. Let's do something new, you know, in my opinion. Um, it is a bit pricey, uh, 15 bucks or more. 
And that was the early bird, I believe. So it's, I don't know what that was. Uh, that was the center this an early bird that I got. It's 13 bucks just for the regular one. And the signature is now 18 bucks. Uh, I'll show you what the difference is. This is the signature. This, no, this is the standard one. Just in this tuck case with a cutout in the center, right? Nice tuck case, obviously. Uh, I'm assuming there's some silver foil on the tuck case. Only a thousand meat produced. Nice back design. However, that is not silver. That's red. So I don't know why it's called silver edition. If the cards are actually red, but obviously raised to the top case. And kind of the silver color on the court cards, I guess. It's a thousand being produced uh, for classic finish. There will be foil on the top case in silver. Impressively embossed tuck. And it took all to be a linen finish. So that's really cool. Really nice looking. Nice looking tuck base. Obviously nice back design and nice cards. However, I don't think he's really done a whole lot with the faces. From what I can tell, I'm assuming it's just basically the same as before. Which is a little bit disappointing. Basically kind of seems like a recolor and a fancy tuck case. Um... This is the signature one. It comes with this wrap that goes around the tuck case. It's autographed and numbered. It sells 522 there. I don't know exactly how many there will be. But that adds a little bit of value, I guess, to it. And it's more limited, so I don't know. Uh, it's currently what I'm going for. I may change my mind. It's looking a little less appealing. And of course, there's other additions, as you can see. But it's not bad. I mean, it's only a couple bucks more than... It's only two bucks more than the regular one. You get a nice number of decks, so... Why not? <laughs> um, moving on. You got the... Gallarhorn Viking Playing Card Deck by Ethereal. Visions Publishing, it is funded, well funded, very well funded, 12 days to go. I don't know how many different variations they have at that deck now, but there is quite a few color options. The Daryl Point Cards from Jackson Robinson is well funded, 9 days to go. Magic Square Company, uh, what am I saying? Silver Sack, but Point Cards, second edition from Magic Square Company, is also well funded, 12 days to go. Eh. Um, the Lord's Deck by DeVoe, is uh, funded six hours to go. That one's not bad. It's one that I would, you know, look at later on. And then anyone here, the Black Tails playing cards, chapter one, the arrival from Ed M. Crown. 29% funded, 23 days to go. It's not bad. There is a slight issue, and that is the shipping cost. To be printed by USB-C, a nice tough case. I don't think there's going to be any foils or anything like that on the tuckies, which is a bit disappointing. It's on Pirates, which is always cool. Comes with a double backer and a blank card, match stock on the tuckies. It would be nice if it had foil. Apparently he's uh, designed this over 10 months with historic research and magic learning. It's a nice back design featuring a sip wheel in the back. And some other nice details. Very nice. Nice color. I don't know what that's going to look like when, once it's printed. I don't think it's going to look quite like that. Is a bit of a concern. The court cards are nice. Uh, kind of a modified version of the standard court card. With custom faces and uh, recolored modified bodies. Very much a pirate look. They're pretty cool. Uh, nice jokers featuring the pirate ship. Adds overall a pretty cool pirate theme. To be printed by USPC and shipped out by Art of Play. So why? Uh, okay, his name is Eduardo Mendez. And uh, he goes by Ed M. Crown. 
why? Why not just go by Edward Mendes? I mean, why Crown? What's with that? What's all that about? <laughs> Seems a little bit odd. But um, the thing that concerns me the most is it's one deck, for me anyways, is 12 bucks plus 12 bucks shipping. And in America, it's... Oh, they actually got an early bird now. Oh, I'm going to manage my pledge. Bear with me a second, yeah? Let's save some money. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I want to do. We'll save a couple bucks. Why not? <laughs> you just saved two bucks by switching to Geico. Geico. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, why not? I had to take advantage while it was available because it, it could have been snapped up at any moment. <sighs> the problem is, like I said, it's 12 bucks for shipping to Canada. It doubles the cost, just like that, which is kind of ridiculous. Usually, it's a few bucks more for shipping, and for America, it's still it's you know twelve bucks plus five bucks for shipping. But usually, shipping in the U.S. is free. That lack of free shipping for American backers will sink this project, literally <laughs> uh, and figuratively, because Americans don't like to pay shipping. <laughs> And, yeah, so, that's going to hurt here. Plus, of course, it's extra expensive for international backers, like myself. So, I mean, it's, it's, I don't think this one's going to fund. It's a nice deck. I hope it funds, but I'm not sure it will. But definitely worth checking out. Body Cards by Sense Labs is 10% funded, 26 days to go. I think it has limited appeal. I think it would be better if they focused on one color scheme instead of having three or four or whatever they have and had a, a lower goal, personally. I think that would be better for them. Gentles and Jokers by Wesley Robb is 61% funded, 10 days to go. May or may not happen. I'm not sure. It hasn't really appealed to me too much. The Heroes of Japan playing cards by Card Deck is well funded, 10 days to go. It's not a bad looking deck. The worst deck of playing cards for the worst show in Vegas, which is not the worst deck of cards ever seen on on uh, Kickstarter. Far, far from it. It's a pretty cool deck of cards by Teach My Magic. It is funded 11 days to go. Save Sifter playing cards with a holographic playing cards by Craig Maidment. 52% funded 20 days to go. I'm not sure it's going to happen. Uh, again, all of a sudden, he's got like three different. Uh, not all of a sudden, I guess he had it previously, it's the Fate series that says here. There's a bunch of color variations, which are just not needed, just stick to one deck. And those are stretch goals, which are not going to be hit. Previously he had a different deck on Kickstarter, and uh, I just wasn't a fan, and there was too many options. <laughs> uh, I don't think this one's going to happen at this rate. Liney Curved, playing cards by Formers. Essentials is funded, 13 days to go. Not my cup of tea, personally. Red, playing cards by, not my real name, because you sound overly suspicious. Uh, it's 17% funded, 3 days to go. I don't think it's going to happen. Absolutely not. Next, you got Bloom playing cards, which is a minimalist deck, apparently, by Edgar Montoro. And it's a flower themed deck. All the cards have flowers on the faces, as you can see. Apparently, they claim this is, yes, sought and edited on their iPhone. Because that's such a big selling feature. The court cards, they just feature a letter within the image. As you can see, KQ is a J in there somewhere. And the, the rest of the cards just feature flowers. And, then, and that's it. Like I said, it's supposed to be minimalist. It kind of is. 14 bucks US on the early bird for this. Are you mad? <laughs> this is not something that exciting or that that many people are, are interested in. <laughs> and so far, very limited people have backed it. 
So I don't think this one's going to happen, but it does have a pretty low goal, so it's possible. Modern aircraft playing cards, bicycle branded by Byworthy. It's 45% funded, 15 days to go. Definitely not my cup of tea. Uh, Ticklandia. Tickylandia, I should say. Playing cards by Robert Jimenez. Which is all about this Tiki art. It's 83% funded, 15 days to go. I do think you will fund it eventually. Again, hasn't really tickled my fancy too much, if you will. Uh, run Around Playing Cards by CDL Art Studio. We'll just run around that one. <laughs> We'll avoid it. It's 18% funded, 16 days to go. Not very appealing. Wild West Playing Cards by SDI Group is funded, 12 days to go. It looks pretty cool. For me, I've already backed another project that was very similar not too long ago. And with quality that I can actually guarantee, because it's USB-C printed, if I recall correctly. And these ones are not. They are printed by unknown manufacturer, they are printing it themselves, so the quality is, I don't know. <laughs> Jungle Marvel Edition Point Cards by Julio Rivera is funded, not 11 days to go, pretty nice deck, I backed it myself. Neo Wave All Foil Point Cards by Montenji Design, all foil really, uh, is 55% funded, 16 days to go. Mm -hmm. Let's check this one out. Pretty big gold, $25,000 New Zealand. And what is the cost? It's $12 for one classic deck. The Ultra on an early bird was $22, still available. Regular is $23. So. Like, what's the point of having an early bird if it's only one buck less? Like, I really don't see the point. It's one buck. If it was, like, a few bucks, two or three bucks, that's different. But one buck? Wow. One whole buck. Especially since it is, uh, seeing as how it's New Zealand money, so for Americans, that's, like, 30 cents savings. <laughs> Something like that, anyways. It's not much savings, so it's not, not too exciting. There's two editions being printed. I assume the classic one is being printed by USB-C, and there's another one being printed by Cardinal Monday. Uh, it's similar to the last one where they had one printed by USB-C, and they had one printed in, I think it was by WJ Printing. I'm a little bit tired of creators producing one deck by this company and one deck by this company. It's an added unnecessary a hassle for the creators, and then you'll have to wait for decks to come from this guy and this guy before you can do anything, and it just it, it just seems like it's extra hassles, extra expense. Why not just produce both of them of Card Moon Day? Is what I don't understand. Stick to one company. It's much easier for everyone. Anyways, um, the cards, like I said, yeah, classic is USB-C Ultra. It's quite a moon day, it is, that's the limited edition. As you can see, it's got kind of a wave look to it. It's similar to the previous Neo deck. It's a, just another variation of it. Different bat design, same, basic, basically the same faces. Limited edition, 750 to 1500 decks from Carter Moon day. Why not go, okay, just 750 decks. Now you're going to get 750, might be 1500. How do we know you might not produce more than that even? So it's not that limited. And in fact, the USB-C one is only 1,000 decks at the minimum. If they produce 1,000 USB-C, and now they're going to go, oh, we might produce 1,500 of the limited edition. Well, it's not so limited anymore, is it? Quite frankly, it's not that much more limited from 1,000 USB-C decks if it's 750. Anyway, um, Neo Wave Ultra will be a Kickstarter only release if you order more than 1350 Ultra decks or if you find a way to point just 750 decks for foil. 
and 750 were found. One. I don't understand that. <laughs> that just seems kind of weird. So are you doing it or you're not? Like, I don't get that. They're selling it, but it may not be a, a, oh, I get it. It might only be a Kickstarter exclusive if they sell so many. If they don't sell so many, it won't be Kickstarter exclusive. So basically, if we sell out, it's Kickstarter exclusive. If it's not, we're going to sell it elsewhere. <laughs> uh, it's a nice, interesting bat design. Faces are basically the same style as before. My concern as well is, has Cardamundia ever done a deck with foil on both sides? <laughs> I don't know. They look pretty nice actually, and I'm starting to change my mind about these. What's the, okay, the other one is borderless and blue colored faces. I kind of like that. I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking this one, and what's this one with black faces? Oh, I guess that's just a sort of foil. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. Anyway, so... It's not bad. Um, it's a little bit weird that they're going, oh, we might print this many, we might print this many. <laughs> might be twice as many. Uh, anyways, moving on, we got the Donald deck by the Donald deck. How uh, professional. 34% funded 16 days ago. I don't see it happening. Thank goodness. The old to La Catrina playing cards by Ro Roman Coltif is well funded 17 days to go. Very nice tough cases, nice art, card quality, we'll see, I, I, I'm not, so I'm going to get it. We got the Dragonback Pointing Cards by Ben Green, funded, 15 days to go, not a huge fan. Luna Moon and Helios Sun Pointing Cards by Kevin Yu, very well funded, over $100,000, 12 days to go, pretty cool, unique decks. But the project was not managed well, <laughs> uh, to the point where some people lost their pledge for the Luna Moon decks because they didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> uh, and then they canceled it because they, they had the Luna Moon, they added the Helios Sun, then people changed the pledge from the Luna Moon to the Helios Sun and they lost the Luna Moon because, <laughs> yeah, they, they canceled their pledge for that one. So. It's not without issues. It was kind of not managed very well. They probably should have done the Helios Sun as a separate project or launched both of them from the get go as opposed to here's a interesting deck and oh wait, here's another interesting deck that you have to add on. And yeah, it's pretty kind of a weird situation. The Circulus by Scroll deck from Tefepa Cards Dealer, 15% funded, 57 hours to go. It is not going to happen. Like I mentioned to them, there's some artistic things I suggested to them, obviously, with the back design and the whatnot, the faces. But the shipping costs are rather expensive because they're paying to ship them all the way to whatever it was, Europe or whatever. And then they gotta ship them out of there, back mostly to North America, to backwards. And it seems like an extra unnecessary cost. So hopefully they relaunch with a much better, a much lower goal and better prices for people. We'll see. Strain Wars, more like Peak Wars from Jason M. Separate, 70% funded, 34 days to go. Don't think it's going to happen. It can have it running for a year. It is still not going to fund because nobody wants it. And he's already seen that 10 times, yet he's still trying again. I applaud his persistence. But persistence will not sell a deck of cards. Diva playing cards, first edition by Alexandre Matencio. Mat is twenty-eight percent funded, twenty-nine days to go. Um, it's a pretty nice looking deck of cards, as someone pointed out. It does look kind of similar to the uh, big boy deck that Gemini deck put out last year. It's also a little bit similar to me to the Cardus Recon deck that came out last year. Uh, it's just another Cardus Recon type deck. A very nice colorful backs though, I like it. I do want to see more pictures of the faces though. 
And this is going to be put by Carter Moon, uh, Carter Moon Day if they get funded. You can see they've modified the face of the air custom. There's a nice side of the court cards. They're kind of weird. I don't know what they're supposed to be exactly, but um, I would like to see more pictures on those court cards. And I wouldn't mind knowing why it's called Diva. <laughs> uh, but anyways, it's pretty colorful, pretty cool. I like it. The quality is going to be good. We just don't know much about the creator. Other than I know I've seen these quite some time on Instagram. Okay, we've got some Oracle decks, Tarot decks, Spinner deck by Fabrica Magia SAS, which is a little bit late to the game. <laughs> Spinners is a passing trend. Um, it's 23% funded for this to go. It's not going to happen. This is something that should have been launched when Fidget Spinners became a thing about a year and a half ago. Uh, anything else here? Sun Tzu's deck number two. This is a relaunch. By D. Rodriguez. It's 78% funded. 26 days to go. We've seen this before. It is a relaunch. Based on Sun Tzu. Which is fine. Only a 3,500 euro goal. It looks like it will fund. My problem is. His attempt to fund this deck. Uh, I'm has been to increase the price of the decks. It's 13 euros on an early bird. Still 38 early birds out of 100 left, which is not great if you can't even sell the early birds. 71 out of 100 of the two deck early birds still available. So now I'm kind of curious how it is he's gotten so much funding if he hasn't even sold the early birds. Only three bricks. Five people have gotten six packs. Two people have gotten three packs. Somebody is pledging a lot of money, it seems. Because I don't see how they made that much money with what they've actually sold. It doesn't seem to add up to me, so buyer beware. It's not a very exciting deck of cards. It's not a great back design. I'm not overly excited about this. I don't see why he's so interested in trying to make sure that this one funds. Um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Previously, he's had other projects. Not one of them has been successful. Double eight poker playing cards, that was just not good. It failed. Sunsees failed. He's had other stuff. That is Inferno Alighieri one. That one failed. <laughs> and this one may actually make it. The goal in the original project was 10,000 euros. He had 4,700. He hasn't even hit 4,700. Uh, actually, yeah, now he's got a goal of 3,500 and he hasn't even hit 2,800. So, he's made it so he has a goal that he can po possibly achieve. And before, he had an early bird of 10 euros, and the price was 12 euros. Now it is 13 euros on the early bird, 15 euros for the regular. Why is it, you know, three bucks more all of a sudden? Let me just see who's producing it now as well. Is it that's more limited? It was to be produced by USBC. Just bear with me here. And now it's going to be put up by MPC with a 310 GSM winning fix. That's why it's much more limited, I'm assuming, and why the goal is much lower. But why it costs more money, I don't know. But that's going to be a turnoff. There's probably a lot of backers that liked it because it was USB-C. Now that it's MPC, forget them. 
more than likely. Price has gone up. That's going to turn off some backers. <laughs> um, and then, of course, there's a lot of backers that, potential backers that were never interested in the first place and still aren't going to be interested in even less chance now. So whether or not it funds, who knows? It's got plenty of time. It's a good chance it funds. But personally, it's a downgrade on the quality of what it originally was. And it's gone up in price. That's two bad things, really. Moving on, I don't think there's anything else here. Electronic dart poker board. Really. <laughs> A dart board. How interesting. Um, so that's basically it. For text on Kickstarter, that I can tell. Stay tuned. I'm going to see if there's anything else to talk about. I know one thing for sure. I'll be back. Again, okay, there's a few more quick things to talk about. First of all, Fear 11 has released the national playing cards in green in just in time for St. Patrick's Day yesterday. Um, I They already had these available in uh, green decks plus red decks through... Uh, no. What's it called? Uh, I can't remember what the site was. <laughs> Foo, uh, it was a bookstore. I don't remember the name of it now. And I don't know if there's any real difference in this from that. I can't remember the name of the store, though. <laughs> there may be some minor differences. There may not be. I'm not sure. I don't expect the case is going to be any different, but could be. The tuckies could be different. The colors on the backs could be different. I don't know. For some reason, I can't think of the name of the store. Um, anyways, so there's that. If anyone is interested. I'll have to wait a minute. Uh, a couple of things we missed on Kickstarter. The human evolution from Magic Trick Store is... Not doing good. Six days to go. And I don't think it's going to happen. Strigger forms. Oops. Bicycle. Strigger forms. Allen playing cards from World Warrior and playing card decks is well funded. Seven days to go. I don't think we saw this one earlier for some reason. Um, this one, Bell Tarts, is one of. Several decks that's come through expert uh, through point card decks recently. It's printed by expert point cards and produced by Fantasy Inc. So about World Travel. There's also the China World Tour deck. There was a Mongolia one. It looks pretty interesting. It's custom. Apparently, it's no longer available at point card decks. So I'm glad I got one. And Art of Play. They recently released, again, also just in time for St. Patrick's Day. If I could find it, I think it would be here unless they sold out already. <sighs> Come on, you stupid thing. Why don't you work? Yeah. Uh. Anyways, they released this, the Lucky Draw, in a green color scheme, which I can't seem to find, either because they sold out already, or they haven't made it publicly available, just for people, there you go, Lucky Draw Green, it is sold out, unfortunately, but the original one is still available, go figure, <laughs> the original one is available, 15 bucks each, seems really expensive for a very bland back design, it does have custom faces. Not sure I'm a huge fan of those quotes. I never bought them. This deck, I don't plan on it just because 15 bucks eh, for a very bland back design. This is the Joker. It's absolutely horrible. Um, so that is that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I don't think there's anything else that I missed. Well, I could double check Murphy's very quickly, my sponsor. 
I think they're still my sponsor. I haven't gotten anything this year from them. <laughs> I think it was this year. So hopefully they send me something at some point in time. And they really don't have anything new and exciting. Sabrosa is available at some places. Bicycle Koi, I've got on the way. Oculus, etc., etc. And that is that. Well, see you next time on Forum with the comment, rate, subscribe.